Uh, you're watching ENCA here on uh, channel 403 on DSTV. We're giving you live visuals of what's happening in the city of Tswane. Uh, that is, of course, council. Today, they are supposed uh, to elect a new speaker. You might remember that uh, just last week, um, okay, it looks like we've lost picture to that particular um, to that particular fight in council there in Tswane. We do have our reporter, Budeli Chwiti Jones, covering that particular story, and he'll be able to tell us a little bit later on exactly what happened. But uh, you might remember that Cope's uh, um, Mr. Makwarela was supposed to actually uh, continue as uh, mayor, but last week it came out that he was actually declared insolvent and failed to actually uh, declare it in council before he even uh, became the city of Tswane's mayor. So uh, the next day he then uh, handed over a letter purportedly from the high court to say that uh, uh, the declaration was actually cleared or rather the insolvency was actually cleared, uh, but then it was found out later on from the Chief Justice Office sending a, a, a document to the city of Swane to say that uh, there is no such document. There is no high court that said that uh, he is no longer insolvent. But here's to uh, the story that will continue with updates around uh, Muruna Makwarela. Uh, Cope is addressing the circumstances surrounding him and the short stint as Swane mayor. He resigned after providing a fake insolvency rehabilitation certificate. Let's take you there live to that press briefing. You'll tell us when you are ready. Okay. Good morning, everybody, and um, we also want to uh, welcome the um, journalists and media houses that are here. We are grateful that you actually um, responded to this uh, media briefing by the CPC, which is uh, uh, the provincial structure of our Congress of the People. On Saturday of the 11th, we had a meeting of the province specifically to address current issues that uh, um, we are faced with, to address uh, the way forward and to take resolutions in preparation with uh, the CNC, which is the national structure of Congress of the People that will be sitting on the 25th of uh, this month. So we came here to try and uh, come up with those resolutions that we want uh, national to to start focusing at. But uh, to start with, we actually looked into uh, the happenings in Pretoria, where um, Dr. Maguarela uh, has been uh, um, hitting the headlines, and uh, where COPE as a party has been affected and probably damaged by what has uh, happened in, uh, in the city of Tswane. And uh, as a party, we are very sorry about uh, what has happened. We feel that uh, this is something that should have been uh, prevented, if, um, if I may put it that way. The first thing is that um, when we started uh, just before the local government elections, the constitution of the party, which is uh, this document that I'm having here, emphasizes on uh, the vetting of uh, all the candidates. It is the responsibility of this structure to make sure that uh, we vet every candidate and we have forms that we actually fill and give to all the candidates to disclose whatever uh, they, their situation might be. So in that form, you, you know, we focus on uh, issues of um, whether a person has been arrested, whether the person has been uh, insolvent, whether the person has um, actually uh, been accused of um, uh, uh, sexual harassment and, um, 
and all the 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 the, the, the issues that goes towards uh, uh, children and so on. Now, Dr. Macquarella filled that form, and uh, we have the form in our possession as the as the structure as the province. He filled it, and amongst all those things that uh, were asked there, we discovered that uh, there are other things that he didn't disclose properly, which is uh, cases that uh, are pertaining to sexual harassment because he was accused of that in the city of Johannesburg when he was chairman of, um, of uh, um, the board, the, uh, the, 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 the market board in Johannesburg. So before that case was finalized, the election came, and then he resigned, and then uh, he went over to Tswani. And uh, I just want to remind the media that um, our elections of uh, 2021 came up in a very abnormal way because these are cases that, that these elections were actually pushed on us by the courts. We had only about uh, 40 days from the date of announcement to do all the work that we were supposed to do. So people filled in the forms, people did everything. And uh, we, after doing all these uh, processes, we still have to take that information to um, national structures to ratify whatever the province had done. So that was not done because of time, because of um, uh, issues that were happening. We, and uh, I think we, it is not only Congress of the People that was affected by that. All the other parties were affected on uh, the issuing and submitting of uh, this uh, uh, party list. So the problem after we have realized that uh, he didn't disclose the problem that we know, and secondly, uh, the problem of him being uh, insolvent, at least he actually ticked the right box there. Now, our immediate response as the province was to say, we have to alert national about what has, hap what has happened. We have a letter in our uh, possession right now that we wrote to National to say, National, you have to vet everybody and you have to assist us because uh, there are processes that we actually uh, skip because of time and so on. But looking at the forms that are here, there are problems that we are starting to, to, to foresee. So unfortunately, when that was done, the elements in um, in the national structure, certain elements prohibited that to take place. And elements that we today can see that these people are actually rogue members of, uh, of, of the party. They do as they wish and all those things. So Maquarela was protected to go through that process. And as a result, all the members were also not vetted in a proper way. There are people that didn't even fill in the forms that are actually sitting in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, 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 in councils up to this day. Now, after we have given that letter, the problem that came from National was to make sure that Dr. Macquarella is not exposed to these processes. That disturbed us, and we didn't leave it there as the province. We kept on writing to the to national to remind them that this process has to happen. Maybe at that time, people interpreted it as if because COPE didn't get enough seats, the province is fighting to get those seats or whatever the case might be. But the truth is, we were going and according to this book, following our constitution and making sure that as Congress of the people that believes in the constitution of the country and that is here to, to protect and to defend the constitution of the country, we have to do the right things. 
So we are happy that today we are actually um, uh, seeing what uh, we have been raising as the province to say this has to be attended to. But we are also disturbed that we have people who are from the national structure, who have their own interests, who are making sure that uh, their interest comes before the constitution of the party. And as a province, we have been complaining again to National to say, National, we are actually having your members that are interfering in this province, that are, are trying to run the province together with us. And as a result, those people came up with three, four members that they say are a parallel structure to what we are. These people that are here, most of, most of them comes out of the conference. The people that were not here, we have more than 20 members of the CPC that came through as a result of the conference. And that were elected, were duly so, by the members of Congress of the People. So that is what is happening. And uh, the fact that uh, Dr. Macquarella was uh, exposed the way he did, we can only say we are sorry. Uh, but uh, we can only say this is the pain that he himself has inflicted to himself because he was supposed to be sticking to what the party is, is doing. I mean, a learned man like him is, a, is supposed to know this document. He's supposed to understand this document. But he himself protected himself and refused to go according to this so that we can finalize all those things. And I think this uh, is all uh, about uh, position mongering uh, more than any other thing. But uh, we then uh, took uh, the, the, the resolution of the issue of Dr. Macarela to say the national structure has to be given a, a detailed report on what has happened here as the, in the province and what has happened actually in Tswani as well. It is unfortunate that um, you know, just before he accepted the, the position of being a, a mayor, I had to write to him and say, Dr. Macquarella, you cannot negotiate on your behalf there. The province is here to negotiate whatever is happening. Give us the report of what is happening there, of which he refused and said, I report to Dennis Bloom. So these are issues that we definitely have to, to expose to our members, expose to um, the members of, uh, um, uh, uh, of our uh, entire uh, party and also the members of Tswani because we were dealing here with a man that chose to be insubordinate. Now, the process went on, he refused to uh, do everything. He started negotiating for himself to be the mayor, and uh, the rest is history. Now, on the letter that, we, that he actually submitted, we are actually very much devastated and painful, uh, uh, you know, if, uh, as, as the party, to see a man of his caliber, a person that we had put our trust on, to represent us in Swami doing what he, has, he had done. It is something to forge um, any document. We are not condoning that. But to forge documents of the courts is something that is severely punishable. And we are saying as Congress of the People, our, as, as the Congress of the People in the province, our recommendation to National is to say, look into this make sure that every person that has made a mistake or that has made things deliberately has to be punished accordingly. Because this must be a deterrent even to other members of the of, of Congress of the People. So um, we, are, we have written that uh, recommendation to, to the meeting of the 25th, but also we, 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 we were supposed to, we were expecting that uh, he will follow what our party is always uh, uh, emphasizing on uh, the behavior, behavioral uh, values. Because we are a party that is known to be incorruptible. That's number one. 
This is something that uh, we have adopted as a, uh, as a Congress uh, nationally, to say COPE will be incorruptible, COPE will be accountable to its members and members of the society. COPE will also be reliable. It must be a party that when people look at it, feels that, you know, we can rely on these people. So what he has done is something that we feel has to be done properly. And because we don't have his resignation yet with us, except what we have heard in the media, we are actually going to follow the Constitution and make sure that he appears even before the DC to be dealt so that this so that he can give his, his story and so that when the punishment comes, the punishment must fit the offense. Now, I also want to say, um, you know, uh, the other resolution that we uh, took, as um, I mean, on Saturday, uh, that is also being forwarded to, um, to National, is to make sure that uh, um, uh, we reassert ourselves administratively and politically so. We, are, we have to have mandates. We have people in the party and they are not that much of a, 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 a serious division. It's just people that we as the party must deal with, take them to DC, make them account for whatever actions they are doing so that we can have our party aligned. So we are going to make sure that uh, administratively, as the province, we take over. And we, we must make sure that Everybody that speaks on behalf of the party is mandated to do so. We are seeing people going all out, running to, uh, to the media, trying to portray a certain view. That is not acceptable, and that is not what COPE is all about. Everybody will have to do things according to the constitution of COPE, otherwise people must ship out. And I can tell you why we are actually having these problems, especially in Gauteng. In other provinces, we are not having these uh, serious problems. We have people that are supposed to be at national level, speaking on behalf of Gauteng, running the municipalities in Gauteng. You find them in every corner in Gauteng. That can only be uh, people that are interested in laying their hands in the resources of the country or of the municipalities because COPE is in coalition in all the three uh, municipalities. So this is something that uh, we feel that uh, it has to be stopped where it is and it has to, we have to make sure that this thing cannot continue the way it, it's happening. But the other thing that we are actually focusing at right now and uh, that we took as a resolution is the replacement of uh, Dr. Makwarela in Tswani. Now, according to uh, Congress of the People, the replacement is very clear. Nobody must be replaced un unless you have gone through what we call electoral college. Electoral college is set up by national structure. It's people that uh, have been accepted by national structure. It's mainly people who are not members of Congress of the People but members with good standing outside, you know, in communities, who will have to vet and go through the CVs of everybody. So in Swan, you are not going to just allow anybody to jump in there. We are going to make sure that every process is followed to avoid what happened through um, the problems that uh, we have uh, seen coming through uh, with the Dr. Maquarela. Now, the Electoral College is always led by our head of uh, election, which is a, a, an elected position which we have in the province, a person that is communicating with IEC and communicating with uh, uh, the members or the candidates that are interested in occupying the positions. Now, we have also resolved that um, we have to take hold of uh, all the negotiations that are happening um, about coalitions. 
all the, 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 the things that, uh, you know, the parties that we have to align with in coalitions, it is this structure that must negotiate. We have seen what happened when a person goes out there trying to negotiate for himself. Now, uh, this is something that we are actually going to emphasize. And uh, the last re resolution that we, we, we are actually looking at, and that we are actually that we are sending to uh, our CNC, is to make sure that uh, the CNC speed up on um, the suspension of, uh, or finalizes the issue of suspension of uh, uh, Mr. Bloom, uh, who is known as Mr. Mafigizolo, as, as we, we had had him bef uh, after, you know, his uh, media briefings there. So Mr. Mafigizolo is not going to be the one that is actually going to, um, to uh, lead this province. Even the media issues has to be forwarded to him by us. And we have the right also to, to interact as the media, because the Constitution says Congress of the People, the CPC, has the same powers as national in the province. So we can take our own decisions and do so. But we are very much disturbed, and we want to see this process being speed up where they are taken to D.C. and they are meant to be finalized uh, because they are actually running amok. They are a problem not only to the people inside Congress of the people, they are also the problem to the national structure. That is why we want the national structure to make sure that they follow this thing and they make sure that uh, everything is done accordingly. You know, um, about the last thing about um, um, Mr. Maquarela, you know, he used to call himself, he'll take out the media or, or on social media, he'll start calling himself the, the, the party leader of Congress of the People. Now, that puzzles me. I don't understand how a member that is only less than a year, in the, uh, maybe j who is just a member for a year in Congress of the People can call himself the leader. These are things that we have to uproot and face them vigorously so as the, as, 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 as the party. He will call himself an incoming president. He will call himself you know, uh, a person, you know, he'll, he'll, give him all, he'll give himself all the unnecessary portfolios that he was thinking about. So we are saying as Congress of the People, the issue of, Congress of uh, Dr. Macquarella has to be finalized, and we want to finalize it uh, very quickly. If it has to go to courts, Congress of the People will assist with everything that is needed from our side, and uh, we will make sure that we stick to the rule of law, because that is what Congress of the People is all about. Thank you. And also, can we also add the fact that the seat of administration is here? The CPC. The political mandate is vested in the CPC Congress Provincial Committee. And as such, flowing from there, we are then saying all communications in the metros, in the municipalities, given what we have seen recently. As a matter of fact, this morning, Colleen Makubela in the Jovex Metro was in the news once again articulating very serious political matters of this institution, the CPC. And in that regard, we are now saying the center must hold. All communications, all political mandates are within the Congress Provincial Committee. And as such, nobody and nobody else is going to speak on issues that pertain to the mandates of the Congress Provincial Committee. We are also interacting, like uh, Comrade Chair has in, uh, indicated, with National to say part of the decisions, part of the 
mandates on the 25th March, the forthcoming CNC meeting, must deal with this matter, these issues as a matter of agency, so that we are able to have one kind of communication as Congress of the people in how they say if where matters, other matters which we can from time to time delegate or request the intervention of the uh, national CNC in, in certain respects. But as of now, the center holds. Thank you. I don't, oh. From ENCA. Um, just on a way, when you mentioned that you're going to go to a secretary, you must go, Dr. Makwara, you must go to a secretary process, but does it end there? I mean, these are criminal charges. This is fraud, basically, him uh, handing in a fake certificate. That's fraud. Will you pursue any criminal charges against the ousted mayor, the, the resigned mayor? Secondly, you mentioned that he did indeed tick that he was insolvent. Are you saying that him and other councillors are led to be in those positions while the national structures know very well that those people are delinquent by the present way? So it allows the corruption. And you mentioned maybe some of these members of the national structures. Well, we heard Dennis Bloom, we heard Willie Mati Shati on behalf of Cope saying that this is the first they know of, but they were very outraged on these allegations. Are you saying that they knew very well, given that you say the vetting process, uh, he, he, he indicated that, in fact, he was insolvent in the vetting process, but it was allowed by those national leaders of COPE to still go through and be, for example, a mayor of um, twice. And also on those members, are they the ones that are suspended? Can you mention more on who's suspended or where the structure is currently? Well, um the issue here is, we are saying Dr. Macquarella enjoyed being protected by both Dennis Bloom and Matisha. For what reasons, we are not sure. But uh, they have been doing this even in Ekruleni. They've done it in Jobek. They are always interfering with the smooth running of this party. So if that was done, at the right time, when we raised this, our letter was written to them two weeks after the, the 1st of uh, November. I think it was uh, the, the 20th of November, when they received the letter from the province to say, hey, there is something that we have to work on here. They, my Quarela has been enjoying protection and refusing to submit to this structure and telling us that he submits to both Dennis and, 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 uh, and Madish. So this is the problem that we are having, where um, members of the higher structure will just blindly come and interfere with the running, uh, the smooth running of the party. Now, on the issue of um, all members being vetted and so on, we have started the process when we were exchange when we were uh, substituting somebody in uh, in um, in Ekruleni. This structure took a decision that every one of us in in Houting has to go through that. That is why even now we have invited from the Tswani residents, all of them who are interested in standing there, to send their. Um, applications and forms, disclosure forms and applications to us as the province so that we can take them to members of the electoral college who will have to run this. So we have, we, we have as, a, as a part, we have started uh, correcting this and uh, making sure that we are doing things the right way and uh, we, we do not violate our own constitution. Mm, but how many then in the previous way that COPE has been operating since this have not been vetted. You mentioned some have not even been vetted, but it's allowed nationally. And who's allowing it? Can you mention these people that are allowing this nationally? Um, for example, is the president aware of the suspect? Yes, I would assume that a letter would reach the president and he'd know that this person is not fit.
to be a counselor or not. So this was allowed by court. That, that's the confirmation I want. And will you be laying charges of fraud against Dr. McGuire? Look, um, the, the issue of uh, Dr. Macquarella, um is an issue that we as the province has to make a recommendation to National. National has to take a decision which they are going to take on the 25th. But we are sending a recommendation to say, Mr. Macquarella must go through all processes. And I think, and I've already mentioned that, if this is so criminal for somebody to do that, we are actually going to help the police in every information that they, they, they will want to get. We as the structure will work together with uh, um, the law, um, the law uh, emphasizing structures to, to make sure that uh, we, 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 we get uh, this thing right. But does that include you laying part of yourself and the provincial structure of COPE and also again who, who are these national leaders that allow the corruption of Betty to be gone unnoticed? It is, uh, I've already mentioned them, it's Mr. Bloom and Mr. Uh, uh, Willie Madisha. Those are the people that are actually interfering in the smooth runnings of uh, the provinces. And that is one of the th reasons that they have been suspended is exactly that. They are suspended because they were interfering with issues in Gauteng and as a result they even went out sitting somewhere in Kempton Park saying they have suspended the president of this party. So all these things are things that uh, have been happening and are things that I believe that uh, um, the party has to go into them and dig very thoroughly. That is why we are saying the issue of uh, them interfering in our provinces have to be speed up and be finalized as soon as possible so that we can get these members disciplined if they, if, if they are found guilty. And how many members are not vetted or have incorrect vetted that you know of? I mean, you went through it as a provincial structure. Also, William Atisha and Dennis Bloom, are you saying that while I'm on Friday when they were acting surprised around Dr. Macquarella and the credentials and him being insolvent, and are they allowed to speak on behalf of court? I'm saying I'm surprised that they have been backing Dr. Macquarella. We heard about this certificate by Dennis Bloom, that the certificate through the media, that, that the certificate of Mr. Macquarella will come in a day or two. And it, it indeed came. So I'm surprised how he got that information, except the fact that he has been, because I know they've been working together. I know that they spend all their time in, uh, in Swanee House. I know that they will not come to this office for media briefing. They will rather go to Swanee House to do that. So this is uh, something that uh, we feel it's unacceptable, and we have to do something about, uh, as a party about it. So you suggest that they were working with him to get that fraudulent certificate? I'm saying they said, they told the, the, the country about the certificate that is coming even before we knew about the, the fraudulent certificate. So how they got that information, they have to explain themselves to say how did they actually come up to say we support Macquarella. We, we, Macquarella is right in everything, and his certificate is coming. They said that, and they said it, in, in, it is in record. So my question, as the chair of the province, is how do they know about this information that they went to tell the media that the certificate is coming? Allowed to continue being um, a member of COPE. And secondly, you also say 
that um, he was negotiating for himself within the coalition. How was the province, uh, the provincial leadership of Co, um, closed out to these uh, negotiations? Were you aware of them? Um, is Co um, in support of this coalition? Uh, so that they encouraged the ANC and EFF against him, the province. The decision that we took uh, previously as Congress of the People, you'll remember that in Gauteng we started um, being in coalitions in 2016. And at that time, we only supported DA in these coalitions, in all the metros, until we realize that that is very wrong because we are exposing ourselves to a serious abuse as the party because we are now becoming a branch of some kind of a, a certain party. Now, the decision and resolution that we took was we will negotiate with both ANC and DA and we will also take a decision based on the merits of that, min that municipality. That is why in Swani, Makwarela was uh, still um, uh, a speaker there under DA. The province was not questioning that because we had taken the decision that we will look. We have served, personally, I have I've been MMC of economic development with uh, the ANC in, in, in Johannesburg. So we are open to talking to everybody, but where we do not accept is where an individual will give himself powers to go and negotiate on his behalf. But we are open for every negotiation, and that is what we are going to pursue after this, to make sure that we align ourselves with a certain uh, um, political party when it comes to uh, coalition. No, no. Remember, at that time, I was MMC in Johannesburg. So he was the chairperson of uh, the market um, in Johannesburg, of the board. When that case was reported, it ended up in my own office. And Johannesburg, uh, I mean, the mayoral committee suspended him so it was a known thing. The matter was investigated by all the structures in, uh, in, jo in, in, in Joburg Metro, but unfortunately, he resigned before that. This matter came again in Pretoria, in, in Swani, where it was processed, and I'm told that uh, it has been finalized. They, this, they made sure that uh, they, they follow the story and make sure that he was actually accused of that. So that report is lying with uh, the Tswani uh, Metro, as I'm talking to you, or in particular the coalition, uh, the DA-led coalition in Tswani. We, we are making that as a recommendation to national because when it comes to that, the, the final arbiter comes to, I mean, it's, uh, it, 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 it belongs to national. But that is the recommendation that we are going to make to say, we have this in front of us, let, the, let national um, uh, lay charges if it comes to a push. Um, in the absence of any question, I think uh, we can close, but uh, we want to say we will knock at your doors all the time to give you more information, even as this uh, uh, Maquarela issue is still being investigated. Thank you.
для противника. All right, visuals coming to you live from Johannesburg, where uh, COPE is holding a media briefing with regards to um, the controversy surrounding Muruna Magwarada's resignation last Friday as the city of Tuane's new mayor. He was uh, mayor for the city of Tuane for a couple of days, if I'm not mistaken. It was just a week or so. There was drama around the fact that uh, the city found that that he found out rather that he was declared insolvent. He then was reinstated after handing in um, to the city manager. Uh, a letter from the court. He uh, said the letter was uh, to show that he was rehabilitated, but it was found out a little later on that same day when the Chief Justice's office sent a letter to counsel to confirm that they have no idea what that rehabilitation document was about. He ha then had to resign uh, on Friday. Uh, so there was Tom Mufukeng. He's the Gauteng uh, chair for COPE. And uh, what he's basically saying in a nutshell is that uh, uh, Magwarela was protected by national office. He also also even mentioned names such de as Dennis Blum, who actually speaks for COPE on a national level, as well as uh, the COPE MP uh, in Parliament, basically, Willy Madisha. He says they protected um, uh, Magwarela from uh, some of the processes that members go through before they are appointed, uh, such as declaration um, uh, documents that they have to be given. Uh, he says before the elections uh, on the 1st of November, two years ago, they had asked and begged national office to make sure that he does uh, go through a vetting process but he never did go through it. So that's what we have for now. We do have our senior reporter, Avi Mdila, who is there, and he'll give you uh, an update, uh, you and I an update, rather, um, probably sometime during the show.